going monster here and I'm back with another video and as you can see I'm looking crazy I have my night clothes on listen it's 11 o'clock at night and I don't feel like changing so yeah I'm just gonna just seem like this for the rest of the video but anyway just today I'm going to be ranting about why I think that award shows nowadays are just like dying down and why they're just like just just trash like just just pure garbage so let me just let's get into it also i'd like to mention drum roll please <laughs> subscribers i am so happy thank you guys so much i am blessed to, like i'm blessed to even be at this point we did this we're only going up from here um yeah i'm just like so ecstatic that we reached four cap um i about to say four caps four thousand subscribers in like less than a couple months i am so happy we only going up from here we're gonna reach 5k 10k 15k 20k 25k all that we're gonna reach we're gonna we're, we're getting there we we definitely get in here we get, we get in there so yeah yeah so you know everybody was talking about like the met galas for the past like week now honestly i haven't watched the met galas this year or like ever really um just based off because it's like i feel like the whole thing is just really like just stupid i feel like honestly i feel like the whole like award shows like um franchise nowadays regardless if it's like super bowl um the vmas the amas bet awards all those award shows i just feel like nowadays it just went down the drain like it just it's not it's not good to me anymore like you can see like from the outfits to like who they nominate like who they want to nominate it's like bias it's like just stuff I, i'm just not like I'm not into like i'm really am not <laughs> like keep that shit like over there if y'all want to be into that just keep it from my, keep give me a hundred feet like seriously um but basically my whole reason why i feel like this is because um i haven't watched the met gala i mean i've watched any award show like regards like the met gala or like, the grammy awards since like your tracks today. 2014 <laughs> honestly I haven't watched a good award show like that since like 2014. Like literally when they had like real artists, real artists that it's like it keeps me that keeps me engaged. Like that they haven't had me with that in like a long time. And that was like a good seven years ago. So yeah, that's really telling. Here's what gets me about like who they nominate. You have good artists nowadays or even like back in that time who were really like good who really was have good music who were consistent and persistent on their, on their music and who really just put in full work on their um craft and then you have like the um the award um, hosts try to nominate like your average mainstream artist we'll say we'll say like i.e like cardi b or megan stallion they'll get nominated and they really do shit I'm not saying that they don't, but I'm just I'm just giving that example. Like you have artists like that, or you have like um, rappers like Little Baby or who else? Um, damn. <laughs> I really have to think about this. Um, Little Baby and Rod Wave or Roddy Rich or some people like some rappers like that. You'll have them get like nominations or win some awards, but rappers like NBA Youngboy who has been consistent on his like music since like the very beginning he has yet to win anything that's really telling and I'm not I'm not like a Youngboy fan like that but I'm just you know speaking facts I'm speaking logistics here like this is really telling like you have artists and different artists in various genres who are doing so much better and have so much better music than these trash ass artists nowadays like you have my favorite artist of all time, y'all. Y'all should know I love Vito the singer. If you ever heard the song, you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it, 
you should know Vito by now, but I've been a Vito fan since like 2015, since All I Want to Do, since um, Classic, since Four Walls. Listen, I'm a diehard Vito fan. Y'all can y'all cannot y'all cannot deny it. So listen, I've been a diehard Vito fan for a long time. And that from his evolution to me, his evolution from 2015 up till now, he should win a Grammy by now. I'm just I'm so sorry about it. He should win several awards and be nominated for several awards, several Grammys. I'm just saying. But basically my whole point of this is that you know, you have artists like that who just don't even have like awards or are worthy to be nominated, awarded to win the award. And you have these war on um, these artists who are just like trash and just have like this spew of hate spread on over social media and they're winning the awards some simultaneously or some way. It's like make it make sense. <laughs> make it make sense, bruh. Like make it make sense. Don't even get me started on the outfits. Specifically from the Met Gala of this this year, I looked on my Facebook and I saw these outfits. What the fuck is this? Yeah. It was like Cynthia off Rugrats. Like what the fuck? What is this? And then what is this? Yeah. Kim, you you should you know better. Looking like a damn the damn Grim Reaper up in this bitch. Like what is this? like these outfits were like tragic were tr atrocious and like I haven't seen a good outfit at an award show in like years I'm saying like I haven't seen it in years honestly it's like they went th this whole award show um, franchise went down bad they went down bad <laughs> they went down so bad and it's just like I, it's for, for me it's like they just want just like to either entertain us for a profit or something, or they just want to just give these artists some type of publicity because outside of this, they won't even give no, they won't even get this this type of pub publicity in their career because you know they've been careers just like deadline is like floating, floating like it's just nowhere, no rift, no no um drift, no none of that. It's just like it's just just floating like in the surface, like average. It's like just there basically and yeah i don't i haven't watched like a good award show like that in a minute just like another example with the um super bowl i don't know if you guys like the super bowl but that's the only time i watch football consistently is if it's the super bowl i'm not a patriots fan i've never been a patriots fan i actually hate the patriots even though i'm from boston but still i don't, I don't like the patriots i still think they're a, a team full of losers and cheaters i said what i said don't get mad at me. I, I said what I said. It's all facts. So my favorite team, honestly, it used to be the Dolphins. It kind of still is, but I'm like, I don't, I'm not a diehard Dolphin fan like I was back in like 2012, 2013. But I like the Falcons and I like the Steelers and I like the um the Seahawks, the Seattle Seahawks. I like them. But yeah, just it just like award shows like that super bowl um championship to me like now it's becoming like mediocre like even at the halftime um not half, is it halftime i think halftime or primetime show it's like mediocre it's like have you guys seen this this last super bowl halftime show like it's just it was just not even like no good artists came out no like oh no nothing that's like engaging it's just like they just put these artists right here because they just want to give it over with and get the super bowl over with and get give them their like 10 minutes of like fame time and it's like what is this it's like why is why are they even why are they even here honestly like it's just it's just like it's not given it's really not given and i just feel like this like stuff like that just the award shows is like it's going down bad unless they've come up with some good artists or nominate some good artists who are worthy to be um um are nominated and give the winners give yeah give the wins to like good artists and not be biased about it like you have artists who are like been here for like five but like 10 12 years in the in the rap industry i.e. Nicki Minaj and you have seen her yet to win her win a Grammy 
she's been in the game for a hot minute had had hits on hits on hits she never won a grammy whereas cardi b she been in the game for like what four years and she has like grammys right off the bat so it was like it's kind of like to me it's like it's looking a little biased looking really really, really biased like looking really looking real shady and yes yeah, it's, it's like based off like a popularity contest for the most part whoever's popular wins a grammy whoever's popular wins the ama whoever's popular wins a vma whoever doesn't have none of those credentials who is not popular on instagram or popular on social media period they're not winning shit they're not winning shit that's what it comes down to basically and that's just my like personal opinion y'all can have a different opinion but i'm just saying here i'm standing by what i think and i think that my opinion is like it's kind of like true but i just feel like the the award shows is like it's like terrible now what needs to be changed by um this award shows these award shows like i said before i need to give the right people the right um awards that truly deserve it and i feel like they need to have like some people who are more like entertaining and have better dressed guests because these guests as like looking real looking real looking real looking real raggedy looking real dollar tree-ish looking real just looking a hot ass mess basically but yeah that's just my opinion that's just my little um like real rant um if you guys want to discuss more things more of whatever whatever topics you want to like want me to talk about leave a suggestion down below in the comment section like this video don't forget to subscribe follow my social medias this time i have them on my side here's here it is right here my social medias social medias make sure to follow them and yeah Hope to see y'all next time. Bye, my loves.